I love this song. Crank this up. All right, I got a little short timers disease since I'm going for uh, I'm going to be gone for a couple of days, and uh, headed down to uh, Scottsdale to uh, make sure that uh, Linda Milhaven is uh, reelected as uh, city council member. Um, and I got to tell you, well, first of all, let me give my hats off to Joe Brazel. I, you know, I, I'm I can't I can't hide m- my feelings for the guy. I, I don't have a br- I don't have a bromance with him, and I don't have a man crush on him, but I do like the guy, and here's why. When was the last time you heard a politician go on a radio show and say, boy, you know what? I disagreed with you, and then I did a little research, and I found out, boy, I was wrong, and I changed my mind. When was the last time, you, first of all, when was the last time you heard anybody say, boy, hmm, I thought X, but then I did a little research, and I did some research, and I was open-minded, and then I realized, hmm, you know what? Yeah, I think I changed my mind on that. And so not only did he did he change his mind, but then, you know, St. Charles County voted nine to nothing on that bill, a bill that is supposedly so controversial. But when, um, you know, people sit down and look, listen to the experts and listen to the people on the front lines and said, boy, I had no idea that was was going on. And my initial reaction or my initial thought process turns out to be uninformed. And now that I'm informed, boy, I changed my mind. When was the last time a politician said that? When was the last time a protester said, boy, you know, I really thought, boy, I really, I, I really thought this happened. And then after I listened to the evidence, boy, now I think this. Right? I mean, when was the last time in your own life you actually changed your opinion? You changed your mind on a politician or uh, a recipe or a drink or a person or a whatever, right? Um, once our initial thought is, I don't like it then automatically you don't like it and you'll fight to the death and you don't like it. And, and why don't you like it? I don't know. Um, quick story. So I first came to town 16 years ago. Um, and a few years later, I met this woman. And this woman comes up to me and says, I don't like your show. Oh, okay. Just out of curiosity, why don't you like my show? Well, because you said this, and, and, th- and I can't believe you said that, and you said that, and, uh, and I said after that time, I said, that's it, I'm never listening to your show again. And I said, ma'am, I can tell you with 100% certainty and accuracy um, that I never said anything like that. I don't even know what you're talking I've never mentioned that. I don't know what you're talking about. I never, really? So I hated you all this time for something you didn't even say? Really? Huh. Oh, interesting. So, I mean, she was so angry. And it, she, she, was, she was wrong. Matter of fact, there was a study done recently, and I wish I would have saved it, but I didn't save it. And it's, it was a study. They did a study on Internet comments. And they went in and they researched these Internet comments, and they took the people who were angry. So, you know, and it wasn't just I'm mad at President Obama for the Affordable Care Act, but it was... You know, just sort of super snarky, super, and somebody says, hey, I'm having a ham sandwich, and then somebody, you know, tweets back or, you know, just blasts them out of there. I can't believe who cares about a ham sandwich or anything, right? So, so they went back and they talked, they found the people whose comments were so angry on the internet, and they said, why do you, um, boy, that was a pretty harsh comment there. We're doing research on it. We'd just like to pick your brain a little bit. You know, wh- wh- do you still feel that way? And like 87% of the respondents said, oh, yeah, I was just having a bad day. I don't I don't really think that. I don't know why I said that. I mean, it was over and over again. All these people kept saying, yeah, I don't, re- I don't really think that. I don't know why I said that. And so they, <laughs> these, these, these angry comments that live forever on the Internet, it turns out the people who wrote them don't even agree with them. But yet they'll still say they hate the person. What a world we live in. All right. Uh, Coming up next hour, we are going to talk to two people who uh, are pretty big deals. Uh, Mark Halperin and John Heilman have uh, written the book Game Change. It's out in paperback, and they're out talking about a preview of the 2016 presidential election. Who's in? Who's out? How it's shaping up with Election Day Tuesday? Well, now it's official. 
We can now start talking about who's going to become the next president, but who's going to run, and it's the silly season. So two guys who have their ear to the ground, who uh, are on the inside. We're going to talk a little inside baseball, but who's in, who's out, all of that. We'll do that uh, coming up next here uh, on the Big 550 KTRS. Do you see this parish, this guy who jumped off of a tower in South County on a parachute? He ended up stuck in the wire. He's dangling from this wire in a parachute um, on Butler Hill Road. <laughs> It's making national news. This this guy was just dangling from this wire from this from this radio tower in a in a in a parachute. I bet you he's done smarter things. Nine thirty four here, Big Five Fifty KTRS. Let me tell you about American Eagle Credit Union because at American Eagle Credit Union, you can become a member, and once you become a member, you get all the benefits. But how do you become a member? You first must sign up and open up an account. You you can open up a checking account for $100. You can open up a savings account for $100, right? Sometimes, you know, financial planners will tell you, financial experts will say, you know, uh, put your money away and make it hard to get to. Well, you know what? Open up an account at American Eagle Credit Union and just start putting money in there. And then forget about it and let it grow, right? But first, you, you have to become a member. Once you become a member and you open up an account, then you'll see all the benefits. But first, you have to open up an account. You can go to ameaglecu.org, or you can go to their newest location. Uh, it's in Fenton, 304 Summit Road. That's at Gravoy Bluffs Drive and Highway 30. Go see their new facility. Their facilities are fantastic. American Eagle Credit Union, um, they, a lot of them have drive throughs A lot of them are very friendly, very nice, um, and a great place to go and talk to the financial advisors there. ameaglecu.org, that's the website, or their newest lo- location in Fenton. Uh, 304 Summit Road. Become a member and get all the benefits. ameaglecu.org. 9.35 here at the Big 550 KTRS. We're going to check the traffic with Ed Smarin at the Golden Oak Lending Traffic Center. Ed? We had an accident on 64 westbound for the Boone Bridge, but that has now been cleared. There might be a little bit of a leftover delay in this area, but it's going to clear up soon. Elsewhere, we uh, have some road work in a few other places, including 64 westbound Kings Highway to 25th in the center lane. But that is going to wrap up over the weekend. Uh, The rest of the roads, though, all moving along fine. Traffic brought to you by TrueCar.com. TrueCar.com is changing car buying forever. TrueCar.com users get negotiation-free guaranteed savings save time save money and never overpay visit truecar.com today from the golden oak lending traffic center i'm ed smarin on the big 550 ktrs northwest winds will be strong through the day at times up to 30 miles an hour with clouds rolling in and out our temperatures should be dropping we'll be down in the lower 40s by the afternoon and trick-or-treat time is cold and windy, probably upper 30s by late in the evening. Eventually an overnight low tonight of 28, so a freeze warning for St. Louis. Weekend is dry with sunshine, but it's cool. 47 on Saturday, 52 on Sunday. I'm Fox 2 meteorologist Glenn Zimmerman for the Big 550 KTRS. And right now we have 43 degrees with fair skies. Weather's brought to you by the Missouri Department of Conservation here on the Big 550 KTRS. Hi, this is Jeff Lapidus, the retirement coach. If you want to make smart choices about your retirement planning, listen to my show, Straight Talk on Retirement, this Saturday at 10 a.m. here on the Big 550 KTRS. Randy Naughton here to say that True Clean Carpet is truly the best. Why do I know? I've used them in my house, and believe you me, I need it. I've got three big dogs with a lot of muddy paws. True Clean Carpet is better and different than any other carpet cleaning system, but don't take my word for it. Readers of St. Louis Home Magazine voted True Clean Carpet number one, the best of any major carpet cleaner in St. Louis. Also, the Carpet and Rug Institute tested the True Clean system and awarded True Clean its highest honor for its cleaning results. There are some key differences between True Clean carpet and other carpet cleaners. True Clean doesn't use any shampoos or detergents. Detergents leave the resoiling residue in your carpet and it attracts even more dirt. So your carpets begin to look dingy after only weeks of having them cleaned. Also, the True Clean system gets your carpet dry in only one to two hours instead of one to two days. So do what I do. Call True Clean Carpet at 314-427-9500 or see them at truecleancarpet.com. Mention my name and get one Scotch Guard protection absolutely free. McGraw, I'm going to take, I'm going to get us back here in a minute. We have our guests on the line, but they have to be out at 49 hard. So I'm going to come back a minute early and move the minute to the end break. Opponent, and I'm not going to start now. Can you say hard again? I believe that when someone wants your vote, 
hard. I think, yeah, I'm just plugging the this preview, right? Do they have a preview guide or something? And make sure bureaucrats are held accountable. Oh, for in spending. the back. We will yeah. not spend more than we receive. We will ensure that educational decisions are made by parents and teachers at the local level and not run by federal and state bureaucrats. Okay. We will emphasize science, technology, engineering, and math at all levels of our educational system so our children are equipped to compete in a it's 21st century second. workforce. I'm John D. 10 seconds. Is done done November the 4th. Now? Paid for by Friends okay. of Deal, Dean Plocker, Treasurer. So it's 2008.